600, 600, 700, spike to 800 megabytes per second. So we're pulling a four and a half gigabyte file and now it's done, finished. So a couple other example technologies, older I.O. technologies, USB and previous generation 1394 would have probably maxed out about 100 megabytes per, or gigabytes per second, megabytes per second. So you just saw 800 plus spike transfer rates back and forth across that link. So that's one example. Now let's get a different use case up that's a little bit more interesting. Now what you're going to see here is in Final Cut Pro we're going to actually be looking at a couple of discrete video files we're pulling off the array, rendering in the MacBook Pro and then actually pushing them out to the display. So remember Jason talked about you got 10 gigabytes per second, two channels, both directions at the exact same time. So we're going to show you pulling not just one file stream, but actually four file streams. See that same kind of speedometer and that, that same kind of data transfer, and then driving at the exact same time over the exact same cable, high resolution 2K display on the compatibility mode display attached downstream. So first file being pulled off the array, being rendered, pushed out to the display all at the exact same time. No frame loss, no artifacts, nothing. Wait for the second one to be pulled. Are these 1080p files? Yes, they are. Raw and compressed 10-bit 1080p files. Wow. So now there's a second one. Now look at your transfer rate spiking to 300 megabytes per second. Whoa, now third one, four, 420, spike to 450, pull the fourth one, six, 625. So now again, you're seeing a throughput that was unheard of yesterday coming off the array into the MacBook, concurrent with a full high resolution display out to the display on the same cable, one cable. 